Today we have the perfect swarm. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. Before we jump into this one, which is brought to you by my good friend, just absolute pal, Country Fried. Uh, before we jump into this one, you'll notice my voice is a little uh, gone. Uh, we're still gonna push through, but I've actually been sick, which is like really obnoxious because I'm coming off of such a long time of not being here. Uh, and so for me, this is a little, little frustrating, but I had to push through. I have to, I have to make content for you guys. And so, uh, we're going to do the best we can today, guys. If you hear my voice going out though, don't worry. I don't feel sick anymore. It's just the cough and all that kind of stuff. So we're working on it. It's also not COVID. I did do a test, so I'm good, but Let's talk about today's deck, guys. Again, this is brought to you by Country Fried, who put this awesome list together. If you don't know who Country Fried is, you guys are missing out. Go follow him. I have put his link down below. We have got some awesome content, collaborative content coming out very soon, and I cannot wait to share that with you guys. But let's talk about this deck. So I particularly am interested in janky, kind of silly decks. Country Fried is wickedly good at creating these janky decks. Uh, and so I went on Aetherhub and he had shared this. So I, I took a peek at it and it, it so falls in line with my kind of build that I was like, dude, I have to try this out. So it is a Scoot Swarm deck. The idea uh, is to hopefully get this out with things like Prosperous Innkeeper and Dina, uh, Soul Steeper, and then play a bunch of lands off of things like Ren and Seven or Storm the Festival or whatever. After you gain life from each of those tokens, each one of them also pings the opponent for a life. Now, we also have things like Meat Hook Massacre, which can help drain and gain. Uh, we've got Skeletal Swarming, which is hopefully going to throw out some skeletons for us. We've got uh, just the, the Marauding Bright Blight Priest, uh, which every time you gain life, the opponent loses a life. So you've got a lot of options and kind of built-in effects that are recursive. Uh, now, if you happen to lose any of those, we do have Balaged Recovery. Uh, as well as Blood on the Snow, which can pull back any creature or Planeswalker. Ideally, that's probably going to be either a Scoot Swarm or a Renin 7, or maybe a Dina uh, if we really need it. Um, and then the rest of the deck is basically your straightforward, like, uh, Deadly Dispute, Shambling Ghast combo. Uh, we do have um, Mulch in here to really fill up our, our, our hand with lands. Uh, because again, that is such a big, important piece to this puzzle. Uh, if you look in the actual land slot, we do have a Hive of the Eye Tyrant, but more importantly, we do have Evolving Wilds, uh, which is going to help to trigger that Scoot Swarm a couple extra times. Field of Ruin can kind of do the same thing, uh, but also deal, of course, with the opposing man lands. So that's the deck. It's pretty straightforward, but it is really, really fun. I did test this one just once uh, and was able to get the win. It was really, really fun. Uh, and I'm so happy to be playing another Country Fried deck because, again, Country Fried's just an all-around great guy, guys. You should go go follow him and go hang out with him. But uh, we're going to jump into some games with this. We're going to see how it goes. Again, apologize for the voice, but we'll get through it together, guys. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into game one right now. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I think we can keep this. I'd ideally like to have an extra land in this hand, uh, but this is a turn one Shambling Ghast and then maybe turn three deadly dispute we'll see uh we do have the dina of course in hand as well as the bright blight crease wow that's really difficult for me to say uh and so i do feel like this is a reasonable keep uh very much an action hand the only real responsive card i guess is deadly dispute at this point but that's okay prosperous innkeeper is not bad either all right uh we'll just go ahead and attack in here pretty easy uh and we'll see what we actually get guys i do want to as we're getting into this uh excuse me, this first game here, I do want to uh, remind you all that we are adding a flex day uh, as of, well, that was yesterday's uh, video, where we are basically able to kind of play in different formats and do some different things. So uh, just to keep in mind that you might see some different style content on the channel uh, every once in a while, that's going to be normal. I want to incorporate some different formats aside from standard. Standard's fun, don't get me wrong, but it definitely gets stale, especially towards the end of a season, like a standard set, uh, when we're waiting on the next one, so like right now. <laughs> uh, and so uh, just keep that in mind that we'll, we'll try some different formats. Uh, I'd like to jump into Commander, but so far it's just been Modern and Popper. Uh, Popper was yesterday's video, which was actually really fun. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit more Popper. I love Popper. You guys 
don't even know how fun that that, that format is. It's such a great format. Uh, we're just going to warmly embrace three damage to the face. Interesting. Uh, really behind on lands here. Uh, I kind of like the idea of just playing another Prosperous Innkeeper, honestly. This really sets up the life gain. The opponent's deck, I don't think, is going to be great at dealing with the life gain aspect. Uh, they also don't have a blocker, so I'm going to do this. The question is, do we drop the Dina? And I actually don't think we do. I think I want to leave up the Deadly Dispute here. Um, just in case. They might have a Circle of Confinement or something weird like that. So I'd rather be able to sacrifice, create a treasure token, kind of replace a little bit, uh, and draw further into the deck, which we desperately need to do. Um, but I'd rather not just lose this guy. We could have, in response to them... Oh. Okay. That might be a possibility. Uh, yeah. Not gonna block. Just gonna take three. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Sacrificing the Shambling Gas to get rid of this visitor. Uh, yeah. That seems reasonable. Uh, and I am just gonna kill this. We could create a treasure token, which would be useful, but I think just digging deeper into the deck is also useful. Wow, we are not drawing lands. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, this is terrible. Okay, um... I think we just throw Dean out. And hope for the best. Uh, unfortunately, we're getting a little mana screwed here. I didn't actually count the lands. Country Fried, just because I know you watch these videos, comment down below how many lands there are in the deck. You made it. Uh, all right. Yay. <laughs> all right. Uh, the only good news here, again, Prosperous Innkeeper does a great job of keeping us in the game. So that's helpful. Sorry if I'm a bit sniffy. Yep, there's the Circle of Confinement. So I assume they're going to use this to kill the Dina, uh, which, I mean, makes sense. Uh, yeah. That sucks, but I mean, what can you do? Funny enough, this is the deck that I was up against in practice as well, uh, and we were able to get the win, but we had lands. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, obviously not gonna block. Oh no, okay. Uh, what can we do? We may just have to pack it in, guys. We're not doing so hot. I'm just gonna go ahead and play a Scoot Swarm because we got nothing better to do. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Not a great first round, uh, but you know, it's all good. It is all good. We are here to have some fun, guys. This is jank city, so that's okay. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys have had a really good week, by the way. It's really good to be back and recording. I did miss it a lot. Uh, I hate that I'm sick, but... Uh, it is really good to be back and just kind of enjoy that because, you know, it's a, it's a really fun thing to just be able to sit back and record. Can we just die? I feel like we need to. <laughs> Down to two. All right. Hey, look, a land. <laughs> yeah. Helpful. Um. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to play this. All right, uh, cool. So now we're just dead because these commies have trample. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and, cool. We're gonna concede. Uh, let's jump into a game too. <laughs> What's up guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just wanna remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right guys, here we are for game number two. And yeah, we keep this. <coughs> Excuse me. Feeling so good. All right. Let's do this. Shambling gas. We do have the deadly dispute as well, which is awesome. Uh, and hopefully we can get to blood on the snow territory if we need it. Hey, look. It's the same deck again. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, I guess we field him. I mean, it really doesn't matter. I'm not going to attack, obviously. Um, and this is definitely a situation where we uh, go for the treasure token because um, that's going to allow us to do quite a bit more 
with the hand that we have. We've got the blood on the snow. We've got the meat hook massacre. All things that are worth uh, throwing out there as quickly as we can. Yep. Cool. I'm curious if they attack. Looks like no. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this, actually. This sets up a situation where if we'd like to, we can actually scoot storm, then play land. Uh, not that we have to, but we could. Uh, alternatively, we could just meet Hook Massacre, which is probably better. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the play, right? That does put us down a treasure token, but... Oh, I guess we could just Ren and Seven, too. Like, ramping out a Ren and Seven is pretty awesome. Uh, no, I'm going to play the safe bet. Let's go ahead and get these naturalists off the field. This just cheapens up everything that they're doing, and I'm not really into that idea. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get both of those off the field. Um, we can still play Ren and Seven next turn. So I feel like that's probably okay. All right. Uh, yeah. No, excuse me. We can't play Ren and Seven. That's okay, though. Um, yeah, let's Scoot Swarm. Uh, let's Evolving Wilds. Go ahead and crack this and get a green source, which again, we really desperately need. Uh, and there we go. I feel like that's pretty good. So now now we're spread out a little bit more. Uh, so if they play a bunch of creatures, it's fine, I feel like. We do also have mulch as an ability here. So like we can mulch next turn, hopefully get a green source and then be well positioned for next, like the following turn. Um, Naturalist isn't that great. Weaver is fine. These are all like okay things. It's not the end of the world. Um, and we do have blood on the snow, so we can get the Scoot Swarm back. We've already got the three snow lands, so. Okay, well, we can't with this. That's the only problem. <laughs> but again, not the end of the world. There's a second green source. That's really useful. Um, all right, let's do this. Uh, I think we just do this. So basically, I'm going to put them in a position where they kind of have to answer the big token. And if they can't, great. If they do, we blood on the snow and then we're fine. Um, because we already have the lands to do so. So it's not really a problem there. <laughs> That's really good. The Weaver with Sigarda Splendor is sick. Speaking of, <laughs> I like my sick voice because it's so, so raspy and sultry. <laughs> All right, let's see what they've got. Uh, yeah. So they've drawn extra, like two extra cards this turn. So they were able to refill pretty quickly, which is awesome. Very, very cool. There's the circle. This is annoying, but fine. Uh, what can we bring back right now? Just a shambling gas. Okay. So when they attack, we just block. This does not have trample. So we just block with one. This is fine. The safe thing would be to block with two, I suppose, but um, I don't think it matters. I don't think this deck runs any like instant speed combat-y kind of deal. Cool. Ooh, very good. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Um, let's first do this. So this fills the graveyard potentially. Yeah. So we get Prosperous Innkeeper in the graveyard, which is a much better pull than the, uh, Shambling Gas. So I'm super cool with this. Hey, with the Force Snow, we get the Prosperous Innkeeper back. That actually gives us an extra treasure token as well. Like that's pretty solid. Uh, this also sets up our, like, our little combo a little bit better. So we've got the Marauding uh, Blight Priest plus Scoot Swarm, and now we've got the Life Gain op opportunity as well. So we're in a pretty reasonable position. Okay, they're going to besiege you. Uh, yes, I would love to take a basic win. Let's go ahead and get a green source here. Uh, do we go ahead and mulch? 
I feel like we do because this sets up next turn where we're able to zero the Renin 7 with Scoot Swarm on the field. So I'm just going to mulch now. Oh, we hit nothing. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, all right. <clears throat> we could still do that, by the way. We still have the Scoot Swarm at active at this point. And so dropping two lands after that, I'll, although it's really just an extra land it's not that big of a deal okay that makes it a lot better uh let's do this i'm leading with this in case they want to kill it i think i'd rather have scoot swarm if that makes sense so i think i'm kind of going that route first but basically we get to dump our entire hand this turn uh so let's do this we actually don't even need to i mean i guess we leave something up but it really doesn't matter All right, let's have some fun this turn. Let's, uh, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> let's go for three. We could have just played one normally, which is definitely better, but we're not representing anything because we have no cards in hand. So like, this is a pretty easy, just dump the lands and set up for a Storm the Festival next turn, which one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, we have exactly enough to Storm the Festival. So we're pretty well set up uh great thing too again this deck runs a lot of like circle of confinement slash borrow time so a lot of their removal is one for one uh which is perfectly fine oh wow okay fair enough kind of a silly attack but that's fine um but basically they can't most likely can't remove all of the scoot swarms so like unless they're running a card that you wouldn't normally run in this style deck we should be okay <clears throat> cool uh so yeah i'm actually not worried at all about what the opponent might have here if they can kill some stuff they can kill some stuff but they're not gonna kill everything so cool all right it looks like they can't kill anything uh let's do this that was kind of dumb actually uh maybe not we'll see depends if there's a land on the top of our we should have done this first so we knew exactly how many lands we'd have but okay we got one that's all we needed um so we play you it's gonna create a bunch of scoot swarms uh which all gain life which all deal damage and there we go all right that's how the deck is supposed to work country fried we did you proud let's move into one final game guys let's see how it goes all right, guys, here we are for our third game, probably our last game as well. Uh, do we like this hand? It's fine. We aren't really on the turn one play, which is kind of unfortunate, but I think this is fine. Uh, hello, friend. And then just giving us a nice little hello there. How sweet. Uh, let's do this and let's go ahead and Prosperous Innkeeper. What we can do is ramp into that Storm the Festival, which would be kind of sick. Um, do we play the Shambling Gas? I'm going to say no, actually. How much you want to bet this is also Naya Runes? <laughs> that seems to be all that we have. No. Oh, okay. Cool. <clears throat> uh, I like that, actually, a lot. That's really cool. All right. Uh, let's play in the correct order here. So we play this, gain a life, deal a damage. And then we play this and do the same. And we pass. <laughs> Again, excuse me, guys, for the uh, coughing and whatnot. Uh, yeah. So at some point, we may have to meat hook. <clears throat> Could have done this, actually. That would have been good. <clears throat> All right. Do we sacrifice now? I think no. I think we can wait. So we play Evolving Wilds. We can't actually, like, kill anything quite yet. Um, because it doesn't matter what we get. So we need triple green at some point. So I feel like that's probably better. All right, so let's do this. Let's sack this. Basically what we're going to do Go ahead and kill the aspirant here just so that's not 
killing us long term um and we'll just pass we're kind of in the in the the way of just like outpacing them long term so eventually this meat hook massacre is just going to wipe their board and they won't have very much ideally we can get to a position where storm the festival is live too and then if we do that we're like really well set up so in fact next turn we can just storm the festival even under this salia that's pretty good uh yeah adeline is sick uh especially with the the thalia because they can just get in a free attack here basically um but we do get to kill the the token at least literal free kill so um so crucial here uh the storm the festival is good in multiple scenarios because even if we only hit land it helps us play the next storm the festival we could meet hook massacre but i'm actually in the camp of storming first i feel like this is better personally although these are pretty rough hits um I think we do get the Field of Ruin because they do have a cave, so eventually that's going to be pretty relevant. Uh, and Prosperous Innkeeper does give us the, the treasure token that allows us to storm the festival again next turn. So, like, we're, we're well set up either way. Um, sure. Curious to see what they hit here. This actually isn't that bad for us because what, that just means when we sweep, we're able to, to get it all back. Um, so I think the play is going to be to sweep this upcoming turn. So let's save ourselves as much damage as we can. That's not bad, actually. Uh, yeah, so we could just do this for four. And now... I mean, we get a nice little four for one here. We get our creature back and we get the, the meat hook massacre triggers plus this Dina trigger. So like that felt great. <laughs> uh, and now we don't have to waste the treasure token to storm the festival. So like we're we're well positioned now. I do imagine they have another Thalia in hand. Uh, just a guess, but they're pretty light on lands here, which is perfect for us because I mean, what are they going to do? We've got three mana available. We've got a lot more. Uh, yeah, so we just storm. Nice. That's pretty good. Uh, I actually think it's this. Uh, I really wish... Well, I guess we can. I'm going to go ahead and just proactively kill this. Mostly just to activate the Scoot Swarm. <laughs> Uh, so what what I'm trying to do here is set up a world where they can't just have like a borrowed time or a brutal Cathar to kill the Scoot Swarm. Um, and so in doing this, they now have to have two different removal spells and they're still stuck at three mana. So like we should be able to land the Scoot Swarm, uh, at keep, keep at least one on the field. And then we've got Storm the Festival available. I believe one two three four five six seven eight nine ah we don't quite have it uh but we're getting close so i'm not terribly worried again about this position i feel like if we draw a land great we just storm the festival if we don't draw a land we're kind of screwed not really i guess because again they still don't have a ton going on and there we go we got land that's all we needed so scoot swarm becomes active and even now, if we just get lands off of the Storm the Festival, we are, like, well positioned to just win the game. Um, so we definitely do this. I really like this for the long term, but we're going to go with the, the Blight Priest here. This triggers an additional time for each of... So basically, for every life we gain, we're dealing two to the opponent just immediately. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Country Fried, this deck is sick, dude. <laughs> Um, and we just don't attack. We just wait. We have another Storm the Festival festival available the next turn. So, like, at this point, we're just super in the clear. Wow, they did have red. And they have Sigardo. That's really good. Uh, but shouldn't be enough to kill us still. They can gain a bunch of life if they want. That's fine. I don't particularly care that they do. We're just not going to block. All right. Do we win? <laughs> yeah, so this immediately kills the opponent if I'm counting correctly, which I may not be, but it's two damage for every creature hitting the field. So there we go. We got the win. 
dude that was awesome all right let's talk about this all right so first and foremost again i just want to say a huge huge thank you to not only the creator of this deck but just an awesome individual country fried i really do appreciate it buddy thank you so much for uh sharing this over on aether hub and um I, we haven't played one of your decks in a while so it's actually really fun to be able to to jump back into one of yours because man what a fun one uh this deck is sick it's just good like i don't there's no way around it it just is a good deck uh being able to take down naya runes right now is obviously very important uh we saw it uh, off camera i saw it in practice and we were against it like i think twice uh the first game we got mana screwed which does really suck but i do think we could have won that game we were still not we weren't just dead immediately like we had ways to stay in the game if we drew lands um but that's okay that is what it is either way this was a blast so i highly recommend trying this one out uh it certainly has a lot of the tools you need in standard right now so i think that's awesome uh also again guys sorry for the sickness i'm gonna keep trying to record though because i do want to make sure we got videos coming out for you guys uh and i do appreciate everybody being so supportive thank you guys for watching leave a uh, a like or subscribe maybe if you're not already we do have a giveaway going on right now for streets of new capenna so do make sure that you are entered for that but with that, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. Tomorrow's collection update day, so we will have some awesome new cards to add to the binder. But I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys.